How's it going everybody? This is Directed Gamer and I would like to welcome you back to my Kaiserite playthrough. So anyway, what are we doing right now? Oh yeah, that's right, we're invading Serbia. So, you know, we're just gonna continue on with our little war here. Hopefully break through their lines and take over the country. As long as Germany keeps bombing them, I should be fine, I believe. Or at least I hope so, because if not, we're gonna have some serious issues here. And I do not like it when you know, issues pop up. So I just got done eating some bread with Nutella on it. It tasted very good, let me tell you. But then again, that's all I've been eating for a while now, actually, so I've become used to it. It's become like my lifeblood, man. I need it to survive. It's just how the world works, you know? I also got a bunch of packs of uh, ramen noodles. Yeah, they're nice, they're just sitting there. Minding their own business, unaware of what's going on outside. And that's why we simply have to continue on taking over this nation, so that we can instill such good values inside their nation, such as, you know, bread with, like, spreads on it, and ramen noodles. That is what we fight for, good people. Don't listen to these people who lie to you, because everything we do is for the good of the people. Or something like that, something along those lines. You know, it sounds really nice when I say it, so... Obviously, people are gonna agree with me, of course, you know, why wouldn't they? So hopefully we can break through here. Uh, come on, a little bit of... lag there, but I'm good. No, oh, it doesn't seem like I'm gonna be able to break through here. That's gonna be a problem. Come on, just keep going. I have faith in you. Or at least I think I do. I'll just let the bombers do some damage real quick before I attack again. That way I don't like run into a huge force, you know. Looks like Mongolia is becoming pretty decent sized and they have a new ruler. I've never seen the female ruler before. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Other than that, though, it doesn't look like much has changed in Asia. Actually, now I think about it, Mongolia's taken out a. They've taken out two nations, actually. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Anything else? A little bit of lag again. Sorry about that. Doesn't look like much has happened. Man. Germany has all these little provinces in the ocean. You'd think that Japan or one of these nations over here would just try to take them, you know? But I guess not. Nobody ever declares war on Germany, you know, unless you're like suicidal. I have never been in a game yet where Germany has actually been defeated. I don't know why, it's just like every time I look at this game, like whenever I play it, I mean, I just never seem to see Germany get defeated. They always seem to easily crush the commune of France and just take them over, you know? I've never seen Germany defeated. I've seen Russia only go communist like a few times and every time they have they've just sat there the entire game I've never seen them do much I don't know I mean like there's so many possibilities but like it seems so one-sided sometimes when I play you know it always seems like Germany and its allies are just gonna steamroll everybody like it's nothing it's kinda sad actually but at the same time it's so epic I love doing it So yeah, let's just try to take as many provinces from Serbia as we can and just surround them. And if we're lucky, we can annex them here, but I doubt that. I'm pretty sure they still have a key point or two. So we're just going to have to keep moving up until we eventually break through. But until then, we can dream. We can dream about, you know, being awesome and taking over a ton of nations. 
Which is exactly what we're gonna do here once we get our stuff together. Yeah, seems like we can't annex uh, Serbia yet. So we're just gonna have to continue on until we eventually are able to. They shouldn't last much longer though. They're cut off from each other. There we go. Can we annex them yet? No, we can't. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. We're gonna finish these guys off over here, and then we should be good. Yeah, you can see they don't stand a chance now. Just keep on attacking, guys. And everything will be fine. It will be glorious, let me tell you. Auto saving, come on now. There we go. Okay guys, I think it's safe to say GG Serbia. I just took you over. Now we just gotta open up on them with everything we got, and this is our win. There we go. It's beautiful, ain't it? We now have added Serbia to our empire. It's time we annex them. So let's do this. A next nation, and victory is ours. The kingdom of Serbia has just been annexed by us. Now, you know what? Now that I think about it, let's move our troops to the Bosnian border. We can probably easily take them over. I don't think they're as uh, strong as Serbia was, so this should be pretty simple, hopefully. I hope they don't have like a hidden army in that little fog of war they have in the back there that could just come out and destroy me. But I doubt they do, so this should be pretty easy. I also think my men are more upgraded than theirs. So they really don't got much going for them right now. Little event there for annexing Serbia. And everything is going fine. Time to declare war on Bosnia now. And we got this. I'll try to break through the top here. And then, you know, we'll just keep on support attacking the other provinces while my other troops just move up. And that should make this pretty easy for us. If not, we're still going to have some problems. But I doubt we will, you know why? Because I just drank a can of root beer, and let me tell you, root beer is amazing. I'm looking out my window right now, and all I see is the cornfield still. And the water tower, which has always been there, is just a part of my life now, and I rarely notice it anymore. But a lot of people seem to notice it, so it's kind of weird, and I'm like, wow, bro. Yeah, it's nothing fancy either, it's just a big old blue water tower that says the town's name on it. Ain't special at all. But apparently people think water towers are like amazing or something like, wow, look at that water tower, bro. And I'm like, yeah, it's a water tower, you know? And people just think it's amazing for some reason. Why? I never know, but you know, whatever. People have their little quirks and stuff, and that's kind of what, you know, makes people cool, I guess. So yeah, we're gonna next Bosnia here. And, you know, Everything just went good for us. Now we own Bosnia and Serbia. Now we have a few options here. We can move into Croatia, or we can move into Hungary. Or, if we wanted to, we could invade Romania or Bulgaria. And, you know, like, the options we have right now are limitless. So I have no idea what I'm going to do right now, honestly. I mean, oh, man. I seriously have no idea what I want to do. I mean, there's so many options open to me right now, but what should I do? That is the real question. I could invade, uh... You know, Croatia seems like the easiest of the targets so far. Uh... I don't want to invade Romania because I only have one province that's linked to the one of theirs and I really feel like uh, they could easily defend that if they just portal their troops there so I really don't feel like uh, doing that. Croatia has a number of provinces I have access to 
Bulgaria. I've learned from a bunch of other games I've played, you never want to mess with Bulgaria. Like, I, I know that sounds ridiculous, but like, every time I've ever gone to war against Bulgaria, they always seem to have some ridiculous army that just like, raffle stomps me everywhere. Like, no matter what I try, they just... I don't know how they do it. Like, every time I go against them, they somehow just crush my armies. It's kind of sad. I mean, I still win in the ends, you know, due to, like, ally intervention, but, like, for some reason, Bulgaria is just a powerhouse when it comes to military, and I really don't feel like irritating Bulgaria just yet. So, yeah, we're just gonna go against Croatia here. Uh, the thing I hate though is that Germany keeps gobbling up my provinces I want to take, you know? I j I'm just not able to move fast enough to take them before Germany moves in. And then when Germany occupies them and, you know, Croatia or some other nation gets annexed, it automatically goes to them. And then there's other times where you're fighting the nation and your ally will make a you know, like a diplomatic agreement with the nation to become, you know, for them to become that nation's, your ally's puppet. I'm sorry, I'm kind of just out of my mind right now. I don't know why, but you guys get it. So anyway, that nation will become a puppet, and you lose all the provinces you occupied, and that nation becomes a puppet. And it's kind of stupid because, you know, there's times where, you know, you need to take over a nation to gain access to, like, a bunch of others. And when that nation becomes a puppet, you have to either f get military access, which sometimes they, you know, they don't agree to the terms, so it's a pain. Or other times, uh, you know, you end up having to go to war with your old ally, and that can be a serious pain, you know. So it seems like me and Germany are just, uh, just going crazy. <laughs> I mean, we're just steamrolling every nation between us, pretty much. So yeah, we're at war with Hungary right now because uh, I think Croatia was one of their puppets. So when I went to war with Croatia, they had a uh, reason to go to war with me. So yeah. Man, these are going to be some pretty messed up borders. I mean, look at that. Look at all these, like, odd provinces and stuff. Like, Germany has a province in the middle of mine, and... Yeah, it's just weird. That's one thing I like about Darkest Hour, though. You always get the weirdest borders, you know? Especially when you have allies right next to each other, because you guys just go to war so much, and you take over so much land, and then your whole little nation begins to look weird. We're gonna try to take as much land as we can though. While Germany is fighting the people on the border, we're just gonna go through the middle and grab all the unclaimed, I mean unguarded provinces. And that should go pretty well. But unfortunately it looks like they're pulling their troops away from the borders of Romania and Bulgaria, and they're moving towards me. But Germany also has some units coming through my land, so that will reinforce me and allow me to do some stuff. And not have to worry about defending my provinces. Because, yeah. Another thing I hate about Darkest Hour is when you're playing and the enemy AI gets a soldier behind your lines because all that soldier does is it runs around capturing unguarded provinces. That's all it does. And it's insanely irritating because you have to chase this unit down. But most of the time, this unit is like quicker than you. So you spend like half the game trying to capture this thing as it runs around in circles. And eventually you'll catch up with it, but like it takes so much time and it's just so annoying. Because this unit does absolutely nothing. It just captures provinces, you know? I hate it, but whatever. I guess you can't really control that, you know? Yeah, I mean, look at this weird border. Like, what is this, you know? 
It looks like I don't know, it looks like a like a scorpion tail or something. Like I don't know how to describe it really. I mean just look at that. What is that, you know? That's freaky. Whatever, I suppose. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna move into Romania next, I think. Then once we take out Romania, we'll move on to Bulgaria. And then from Bulgaria, I think we'll invade the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> oh yes, it's about time we take back the Holy Lands, don't you think, good people? I agree. Man. I should probably start using strategic redeployment, but you know what? That just takes all the fun out of it, good people. Now, why would I do that? Come on now. Man. I really... I'm tired right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Like, seriously. Ah, oh, I hate college. I mean, like, you know, it's fun and all, and I love it, and I love my classes, but... Uh, it does nothing for your eating habits or your your sleeping schedule, let me tell you. I'm just putting that out there right now. But, you know, it's not that bad. It really ain't. And I love my classes, so I really don't have much of a problem here. So, let the invasion of Romania begin. Hopefully, we'll be able to capture a lot more provinces than, uh, Germany and its allies do, but from the looks of it, I think that's going to be kind of hard. Yeah, because as you can see, they're already moving in at the top there. Oh, okay, make a puppet Hungary. That's fine with me, Germany. Whatever, bro. Yeah. This should be good. We should be able to get a bit of land from Romania. It's beautiful, ain't it? Doesn't it just remind you of your childhood in some way? It reminds me of my childhood. When I used to wake up every day and I was like, wow, you know what? When I grow up, I want to be an evil dictator of the world, in control of a powerful nation which takes over every other nation in the world. And I always said I would accomplish that dream. But unfortunately, it seems like that dream's kind of impossible now. So, being the loser I am, I enjoy sitting on my computer and pretending to be a dictator. Ah ha ha ha. Yeah. That's stupid. <laughs> that was a really bad joke. But you know, I have to find something to talk about because if I don't, then this is going to be a pretty boring video. You know what I mean? I've seen a few commentators where they uh, they start talking and then they'll go quiet for like I don't know five minutes and then all you hear is like so yeah and it's like wow bro your abilities as a commentator are amazing you know I don't know it's just one of my pet peeves you know like I hate it when people make commentaries but like they just don't commentate you know what I mean I just find it weird when you go quiet for like five minutes and we don't hear from you. I don't know why, it's just something that makes me go, wow, bro, are you serious right now? And they're like, yeah, bro, and I'm like, okay, whatever. But you know, that's their style, so I guess I really can't complain. I mean, everybody has their own little unique style and all, but I don't know. I, I really don't know. I mean, I just kind of run my mouth and whatever it comes out, it's like, yeah. <laughs> There ain't no scientific reasoning behind this. There ain't no logic. Come on now. Why would anybody do that? You know? Screw statistics. I got emotional. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Eh, who cares? Who needs a fancy word anyway? So yeah, I got all this land. I got like Greece, Albania. 
Croatia, well part of Croatia anyway, uh, Bosnia, Serbia, parts of Hungary, but uh, the border, <laughs> the borders are messed up. Germany has these random provinces in the middle of my nation, and uh, they surround me in a few areas, and that's just weird.